Good morning, everybody. My name is Stuart Smith. I, along with Frank Mitch, have been running this web development stage for five years. Nobody seems to care right now. And I always like to start off the meeting. If anybody knows me, I like promoting things in Cleveland and have been uh, doing it with the SIG for five years. But uh, a friend of mine, Jim Evans, I think, to the new people, a lot of them also heard the story, talked me into going on Twitter. So if you're interested, follow me on Twitter. I'll be happy to get them up there at the end and announce all the meetings that are going on in Cleveland. Uh, so again, this is the Web Development Special Interest Group. We normally meet the third Saturday of the month. And years now for this past year, uh, but our history goes back to the late 90s, so uh, with the people who ran before me, we've been around for a long time, so this is Greater Cleveland. And I'm going to start off with announcing some of the other meetings that are going on. Okay. Throughout our long history, we've always been affiliated with the Greater Cleveland PC Users Group and the Cleveland Digital Publishing Users Group. And this coming month, I'll be able to make an, only one announcement for both of them because of where Thanksgiving falls, CD Pug doesn't have a meeting in November. But in December, there's actually a joint meeting, and I love the title, Holiday Tech Gift Extravaganza. If you're not, you don't have this on your calendar, you're miss, missing out because this is, this is the time to see all the cool gadgets for the holiday season. And Jim, you want to add some more about what's going on with that? And Spike? So gcpcug.org. <laughs> What's that? Yes, if you go there and just click the show details, you'll get even more information. Nice improved facility down at CSU, so that's nice going on. Also, also, you want to announce about your free meetings that you've been doing? And yes, every Sunday, um, third and part, um, and hopefully two more classes. We're actually at the end of the run, and in December, we're going to start HTML5. HTML5, so we'll be doing HTML5 exclusively, that is, if anything earlier. Uh, if you go to, that's me, <laughs> if you go to Cleveland, well, uh, uh, web design, like three ways to get there. Slash 396, the dangerous map. Want to do that again? Webdesign.meetups.com slash 396. And it'll just route you. We're also going to be starting a PHP class. We have a project we're going to be doing with the Free and Open Source called CRUD, K-R-U-B-H, which stands for Create, Read, Update, Delete. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> um, and it's, uh, it's, I'm working on the libraries now, and it's a really, it's a quick, easy way to do forms and pages and stuff in PHP. Let me restate that. Not like websites, just data entry. So that'll also be starting in December. If somebody wants to learn PHP, this is a great way to learn it. We use the um, the books uh, Heads Heads uh, the Headsbook uh, series by O'Reilly. So there's kind of whatever. It's 
accelerated uh, and my numbers are great, great. And again, okay. if you just go to meetup.com and search for Cleveland Web Design Development Meetup, it's very easy to find once you get there. So just start at meetup.com if you, if you don't remember the URL. And then I also want to mention the Northeast Ohio WordPress Meetup. Do we have anyone that's a member there? I did send them an email, invite them out today. Um, but is there anyone a member of that group? Well, they just actually had a meeting. Uh, they just had a meeting this past week on the 18th, and they're, so they, you can see, so if you go to the, again meetup.com, uh, neo WordPress forward slash neo WordPress, you can learn more about them. Um, I've never had the opportunity to go to one of their meetings, but they have been around for a while, and you can look at some of the history and see what sort of things they're doing. And in spite of the fact that we're talking WordPress today. I do need to announce, since I'm working with Drupal here at Notre Dame College, that the uh, Cleveland Northeast Ohio Drupal Meetup is having their first meeting. Uh, this is something that many of us have been drooling over for a while. So uh, WordPress and Drupal are both content management systems. So their first kickoff meeting is on December 4th. So I highly recommend those of you who want to learn about Drupal, they're going to be, again, since it's a kickoff meeting, I thought a lot of the discussion was going to be around what the group should do going forward. And again, um, for those who came in late, I'm Stuart Smith. I run the web development specialist at Drupal along with Frank Mitch, who uh, gives all the PI and C work here. If you go to our group uh, website, you can sign up for our Yahoo group to get announcements about our upcoming meetings. I recommend that. Also, uh, starting I think it's pretty much just for a year now, via Twitter, I always I always track all the meetings in Cleveland, so I can make announcements by clicking on any of the meetings. So now I put it out via Twitter. So. Every Sunday or Monday, you can follow SOS underscore JR, SOS underscore JR. And you don't have to be on Twitter. I mean, if you are, it's easier. But if you're not, you just have to go to Twitter and look at that. And either Sunday or Monday, I announce definitely the web related groups and then some other uh, groups. And final thing before we get started, I always like to get a sense of who's all here and how you heard about us. So if everybody could please uh, sign in on the sign in sheet, uh, we'll move back to around. And uh, now to start our presentation today, very pleased. Uh, a year ago in December, we had a, we always, in December, sort of go out to lunch and discuss the program ideas for the coming year. And we only have about 10 meetings per year, and we always come up with about 30 topics, so uh, it's made my job a little easy. And two of the big topics that people requested in service last month was having a designer come in, which um, Brad came in last month and talked about the design. But the other thing I Heidi and I actually met through different functions throughout the year, and we both volunteered at Give Camp. And she did a very nice presentation at Give Camp where we volunteered to help her with her charity of visiting websites. And at the end of that event, we sort of said, You know, Heidi, this was a nice intro course you did for these people, but uh, could you please come out to my group and continue on to a little more technical level for those people? So we're uh, very grateful to have her here today. So I think we're going to be cool. And what's the name of your website again? I can never remember. HeidiCool.com. Oh, HeidiCool.com. <laughs> Thank you. Very hard to find. Yeah. Try Googling me. Nothing will turn up. Yes, uh, I may be a nerd, but I was born cool. So let me close up some of these. When Stuart asked me about this way back when, I was thinking, oh, yeah, that, that's not a problem. And then the more I've been thinking about it, the more I've been thinking, well, there's an awful lot to WordPress. And I know like a small fraction of it, but even what I know, I couldn't possibly cover in 90 minutes. So what I think I'm going to do is sort of do like a really quick kind of overview, running through a lot of the basics. But what I did was I created a website to use as the example, and that website has more information, and I can add to that over time. So we'll sort of skim through things, hopefully in a way that makes sense. Um, if you want to ask questions during the presentation, please do that as well. Um, but basically, I'm not a WordPress expert. I'm sort of a, a marketer who builds websites. I'm part nerd, part designer, part wordsmith, a little bit of everything. I've been using WordPress for about three years. Before that, I was using movable type, and before that, of course, just plain old HTML. Um, and something I, when I've been using WordPress sites, the way I did it, I think probably because I was building in movable type before, was that 
it never occurred to me to just take a template and kind of tweak it. It always occurred to me to build my design first and then make the template work with that. So maybe a little bit backwards, so most people are used to working with things. But um, question, how many of you have used WordPress already? So a pretty good chunk of people. Um, how many are, how many would consider yourselves like PHP experts? Okay. He's teaching a class of WordPress. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm not one either, so I know enough just to sort of get by and keep myself vaguely out of trouble. So here's the, uh, the sample site. The address for this is HeidiCool.com slash sample WordPress, and you can refer back to this later. And I will probably add a little bit to it over time, but I thought we'd sort of start with the basics. Some of you, this will be stuff you already know. Some of it might be over your head, a little bit of both. Um, I'm also thinking this from the developer standpoint. If you're doing it for yourself, it's one thing. If you're doing it for a client, sometimes they ask you, well, why do you want to use this open source free thing when, you know, we could spend five, ten thousand dollars on something real? <laughs> and uh, that's a good question I, I get a lot. And so I put together a, a few things here. Uh, one, of course, self-hosted rather than uh, WordPress.com. That, that's a given, and most clients want that. Um, Open source, people kind of go back and forth on, you know, is that a good thing or a bad thing? I like to tell them that's a good thing because if I'm run over by a bus, they'll be able to find somebody else who can work on the site afterwards. You know, if it's some proprietary system and they decide to leave or I'm no longer available, they're stuck with that. And then how do they move it to something else? Um, I also like that it supports W3 web standards. I'm kind of nerdy about that. Um, and also it's a simple learning curve. I mean, you'll be able to pick it up easily in terms of creating your own templates, but also in terms of clients, I think anybody who can use Microsoft Word can get into the dashboard and update their posts pretty easily, and that's something I like about it. Um, also, my philosophy is that WordPress sites don't really need to look like blogs. That's a concern people have. They, like, well, we want a business website, not a blog, and we don't want those same recurring sidebars and widgets and what's and things. And, but I think you don't need to make WordPress look like that. You can make it look like whatever you want it to. So those are sort of my reasonings behind uh, that I try and push on clients. And usually we convince them. Um, first thing, hosting requirements. Probably most of you have a hosting provider already. Um, WordPress requires PHP or MySQL. In the next version of WordPress, they're going to up the... Uh, up the version that they require. So right now, version 4.3 or 1.0 or 4.12, PHP and MySQL are required. But next time around, they're upping it to 5.2 uh, and 5. Well, it's out here. Um, so some people ask if you can run it on uh, Microsoft servers, and I think you can. And it's complicated, but it works. But I don't know exactly how. So. Last year, and Microsoft was the keynote speaker, and main, and it was only talking about open source things, open source uh, providers that supported PHP and MySQL. And then they had a whole discussion. I'm with you there. I'm now talking with you about upgrading. It's not going to be ASP.NET that I want to use, but I also want to know that you really make this take long to use the tools to get it all into one place. But yes, now you can. Uh, if you have somebody who needs the ASP.NET, you can use the PHP. So generally, uh, if you pick a hosting provider that's pretty w that is familiar with WordPress and supports it, you usually won't get into too many troubles. So I've got a list here of the ones that WordPress recommends. Um, I use DreamHost. Disclaimer: I'm part of their affiliate program, which means I get like twenty 